Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Shaha Friedman. I'm the head of Visa's Innovation Studio here in Tel Aviv. And it's a pleasure to be here today at uh, Fintech Junction. A year ago, I was speaking um, at, uh, excuse me. A year ago, I was speaking uh, here at Fintech Junction, uh, showcasing Visa's commitment to open our network to early stage startups and technology partners. So in the next 10 minutes, I want to uh, walk you through the journey that uh, we as Vina, Visa went through in the last year, what we've done in Tel Aviv, and we also have some exciting announcements uh, to make today. Now, Visa has a 60 years uh, history of value, innovation, and growth. We are proud to be the partner of choice for financial institutions, helping them to bring payment solutions to consumers and merchants. But we have not, we have not done this on our own. Visa has leveraged our network. We work together with financial institutions, with banks, with the industry, with regulators, and to some extent, even with our competitors. But we realize that in order to uh, keep with our track record of innovation and growth, we need to make some changes. We understood that when an early stage company comes to Visa with a new idea and they want to work with Visa, implement a Visa solution, or grow with us, we had to make some internal changes. So the first thing that we've done is take the most prominent uh, visa asset, which is visa issuance, and make it more accessible to the startups and fintech partners. Previously, if a company wanted to issue a visa card, it would take them a few good months to do that. And we had very good reasons, by the way, for that. V as Visa is the leader in the payment industry. We have the role to uphold the integrity of the payment industry. So consumer have that uh, peace of mind when they're making a payments. When a merchant chooses to accept Visa, they know that uh, they have the insurance to be paid securely and uh, seamlessly. But we realize that for a young company which is moving fast and is low on resources, that is not sufficient. So what we've done is uh, we went through a lot of internal changes, um, cultural changes, uh, change of processes. We worked with our internal teams, including uh, finance and compliance and sales and processing. We brought to the table third-party companies, intermediaries like Solaris Bank, like Contest, like Wirecard, and together with them, we came up with the FinTech Fast Track program, which now allows early-stage companies to onboard Visa with as, as little as four weeks and issue Visa cards, which can now be accepted in 200 countries and over 50 million merchant locations. Another part of uh, opening our network was to increase the number of our venture, inv venture investment. So Visa invests in companies which not only provide uh, commercial benefits to Visa, but also uh, can play a wide uh, impact on the uh, broader ecosystem. This year we focused on opportunities driven by consumer demand and by regulation. So for example, the increase in subscription-based payments, uh, the rise and growth of online marketplaces, obviously in open banking and uh, PSD2 as well. So if we invested this year, and these are just a couple of examples, in companies like uh, Mina. Mina is a company uh, based in the Nordics, which can provide banks uh, better services to monitor uh, and, and track uh, what we call utilities and subscription-based payment, like uh, streaming and gas payments as well. We invested in Bankable, which provides banking as a service, not only to help Bankable grow their business, but also uh, help our partners, whether it's fintechs or banks, to launch payment capabilities and services together with uh, Bankable. Now, these companies are not only getting funds from Visa, they're also getting access to our fintech teams, to our venture teams, which provides them with the expertise and the know-how and how to grow their business and scale together with Visa. In Tel Aviv, we're focusing on engaging with what we call payment technology companies, pay tech companies, we want to connect them to Visa and the broader ecosystem. We invest in companies, so we plug into our global venture investment program where it's suitable opportunities. We provide what we call value-added services. So we're leveraging our presence here in the market, connections with hundreds of fintechs and pay tech companies. And on the other side, Visa with its global distribution, working with over 16,000 financial institutions. So we're connecting these startups to banks. So obviously for a startup, it's a great opportunity to open new markets, work with new clients. And we found out that banks, regardless of their digital transformation stage, whether they're early stage 
or more mature innovative banks, they find suitable uh, and innovative technologies in Israel, and we're glad to report that we already saw some commercial projects as a result of these introductions, and we're happy to uh, pursue those opportunities. And in the heart of our activities is our commercial partnership that we're putting together with startups, whether it's a fintech that wants to issue a visa credential, a fintech that wants to implement a visa product like an API or Visa Direct, for instance, our push payment service, which is used for disbursement. We're connecting startups to our internal business units for POCs and scaling from them to partnerships, referral agreements, and other opportunities as well. And as I mentioned today, we have some uh, exciting announcement to make of three new partnerships that we have put together in our innovation studio most recently. First one is a company called MASH Payments. MASH is a cross-border B2B payments company. B2B is a space with great room for innovation to bring more seamless payment transaction, and we're happy to partner with MASH to uh, run those transactions on the VisaNet using Visa credentials. As an anecdote, Mesh was actually our first startup resident at our innovation studio, so we're really glad that model proved itself. We were able to work with Mesh closely, and that proximity enabled us to ac accelerate the process and put this partnership together. Next partnership is with a company called Charge After. Charge After is a consumer point of sale financing platform, so Charge After connects lenders to merchants. And by that, they're creating a better consumer experience and also giving better results for merchants since they bring that network effect with a multiple lender. We're happy to collaborate with Charge After and to bring visa-originated products to the merchant-led installment space. And last but not least, a partnership with PayU, which is by no means an early-stage startup. PayU is a mature growth company, global payment service provider, and our journey with PayU actually started in discussions with Zeus. Many of you know Zeus, an Israeli startup company, which was acquired by PayU about a year ago. So we started talking with Zeus, but ended up working together with uh, and partnering with PayU. And we're excited to work with PayU on expanding acceptance and also implementing Visa tokenization. Visa token is an integral, uh, integral element in the way that we innovate in our digital propositions whether it's mobile wallets, mobile payments, wearable devices, in the not so, near, not so far future, IoT payments, appliances, connected cars, these are all going to be based on visa tokenization, and we're happy to work with uh, PayU on those opportunities. Finally, I want to uh, leave you with a uh, project that we did this year, which is the Israeli uh, Paytech chart. Pay -tech chart. Uh, we felt that there are so many active uh, companies in the Paytech space in Israel that they deserve their own respect, their own visual representation. We found that this Paytech map is useful for both uh, investors, um, accelerators, global banks which are active in the market, and also to entrepreneurs which are starting their payment businesses and they can see what's out there uh, today. So this map is a dynamic map. We keep on updating that. So if your logo is not out there today, please don't kill me. We're keeping on updating this map rapidly and hoping that next year we'll see many more PETA companies in Israel. Thank you very much. This is my email. Please feel free to contact me. The team is here, Roin Amit. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the conference.